All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I got a very interesting comparison video for you today. And we're going to do it on Nick Walker versus Derek Lunsford at the 2022 Mr. Olympia. And I know a lot of you guys have covered this matchup already, but I'm going to give you guys my take on this uh, matchup and who really deserved first and second. Because Derek placed second and Nick placed third. And obviously, Hadi Chopin won the whole show. Brandon Curry placed fourth. Big Ramy placed fifth. And Samson Dowda placed sixth. So that was your top six. And I agree with those placings. And it's going to be a very interesting uh, Mr. Olympia this year in 2023, in my opinion. Because Samson Dowda, who placed sixth at the Mr. Olympia, won the whole Arnold Classic show last week. Andrew Jack placed eighth and then ended up placing third at the Arnold Classic last week behind Nick Walker. And Big Ramy, my God, did he look way better here than at the Olympia. That's for damn sure. And we all know Hadi Chopin brings it every single year. So the Mr. Olympia should be very interesting. Oh, and you can't forget Derek Lunsford, whose physique is unbelievable. What a great set of genetics he's got. Going from the 212 division and dominating that division to the men's open and dominating the men's open. I tell you, I think he's going to win the 2023 Mr. Olympia. All he needs to do is come in a little more condition, and I could definitely see him doing battle with Hadi Chopin for first place. But we'll just have to see what happens, right, guys? But I digress. So I got seven poses for use, and I would... I would have had eight, but I can't find a uh, front relax for Nick Walker. But regardless, he ain't beating Derek Lunsford in the front relaxed. No way. But anyways, guys, moving on, we got the front double bicep, the first pose of the night. And I got two pictures for you guys. This one, where you could see Nick's blocky, blocky midsection. Can't really see uh, too many visible cuts to the midsection. And Derek, he looks great. What a great V taper. He's got the vacuum going on. But then look at Nick when he crunches his abs. He looks way better. And obviously Nick's arms are bigger. Nick's got, uh, you know, a little bit more cuts to the quads. But, but structurally, I like the way Derek looks, in my opinion. But uh, if I had to give a point to anybody, I would go with Nick because his arms are just humongous. And he really doesn't look bad here at all. Structurally, I said he was off. His upper body overpowers his lower body. But... He still looked really good at the 2023 Mr. Olympia. I mean, 2022 Mr. Olympia. All right, guys, now we got the side chest shot. And uh, Nick looks a little bit better in this pose. Uh, Nick is just more conditioned. And if Derek Lunsford comes in more conditioned, I could definitely see him placing first or um, placing second again. But anyways, guys, now we got the side tricep. And this one, Nick Walker looks a little bit better in as well. Uh, Nick's... Tricep is definitely bigger. Uh, his midsection is protruding a little bit more than Derek. The side sweep to the quads are a little bit better than Derek. So I would give uh, Nick the point if I were to give a point to anybody. Now we got a uh, hands on the hip, well, crab, whatever you want to call this, hands on the hip, crab most muscular. Um, and this one I would probably go with Derek because of the midsection. Look at, look at Derek's midsection, how much tighter it is compared to uh, Nick Walker's midsection. And um, yeah, Nick is bigger and Nick is more conditioned, but I just think that uh, Derek looks a little bit better in that pose. Now we got the crab most muscular and Nick just destroys him in this pose. Nick looks like he's 15 pounds heavier than Derek. Uh, the traps are popping like crazy on Nick, and uh, his chest has got a nice bow going through it. Derek just needs to gain a little bit more size and come in a little bit more conditioned. All right, guys, now we got the rear lat spread, and I never like Nick in the rear lat spread or the front lat spread. Um, Derek looks great. He looks unbelievable. He's got a really good V taper, really good hams and glutes. If I were to give a point to anybody, it would be Derek. Uh, I just don't like the way Nick presents the uh, rear lat spread or the front lat spread. Hams and glutes are on point. His, uh, you know, his traps are popping, but Derek definitely looks a little bit better in this pose. All right, guys. Now we got the rear double bicep in the last pose of the night. 
And uh, this was a tough one. This is a tough, tough, tough one. Uh, Derek's traps are a little bit thicker. Derek's got nice lat insertions, great hams and glutes. The arms and shoulders look good, but I just think I would go with Nick. I just think Nick is a little harder. Nick's arms and shoulders are definitely bigger. His hams and glutes are a little more diced, and his lower back is just a tad better. So I would go with Nick Walker in this post, but it is very, very, very close. Very, very close. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think that Derek Lunsford, if he comes in more peeled, and maybe a little bit bigger, he can win the 2023 Mr. Olympia because structurally, I think he's got the best structure out of everybody up on that stage. Maybe Andrew Jacked, he's very aesthetic. He's got a good structure too. So does Samson. And I don't think that, uh, what you call it, should have uh, beat Samson. I think uh, Andrew should have beat Samson at the Arnold Classic, but I digress again. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Mikey from Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out.